Hello again, this is Kevin. Uh, I was asked if I could give some assistance on how to create what we call a parallel map within Disguise. A uh, parallel map is going to allow us to take one piece of content and span it across multiple screens while accounting for negative space. So I've opened up my Disguise Designer software and I'm just erasing the projector and the screen. I don't need it. I'm going to do LED screens. I'm going to be very creative with my naming here and I'm just going to call one of them one. And let's make this, well, let's do one meter by three meters. Yeah, that's cool. And I'll make this, um, let's do 200 by 600. Great. So I want to duplicate the screen now. So I'm going to right click on the screen itself to see the screen properties. Now, if I right click the properties, I have the option to rename or duplicate. So I'm going to call this number two. And now I'm going to offset it. And I'm going to right click this again. I'll duplicate it to number three. Oh, that's Unreal Engine. Apparently my shaders have been compiling. And I'll have a different video for that soon. So yeah, I'm actually running Disguise and <laughs> Unreal Engine at the same time on my computer. And now I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Four. Uh, cool. So I now have my four screens and Puck can go away. So as I mentioned, I want to have one piece of content span across all of my screens here and account for negative space. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to raise these up a little bit so they're not on the floor. Cool. So I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, once again, I can right click where my playhead is, or I can uh, control L to create a layer. I'm going to do a video layer. Uh, we'll do some Costanza to get us going. And by default, it goes to a direct map. That's not what I want. I want this to span all of my screens. So in the default tab, I see where I have the mapping. There's a direct map for each screen because by default, Whenever you create a screen surface, it's going to create a direct map for you. But what I'm going to do instead of rather than using one of these uh, pre-built ones, I'm going to create my new map. And I'm going to call this parallel, like parallel parking. And this is going to be a parallel map. And now here I tell it what screens are going to be involved with my parallel map. So it's going to be screen number one, which turns red, two, which turns red, three, which turns red, four, which turns red. Very cool. Now at this point, I can move the content and size it. There it goes. Uh, right now it's doing the aspect ratio from the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio. And I don't know what size George is. So let's try 1920, 1080 first. And now we'll size him up. Nice, we'll move him over. We'll move him down and you know what? I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. So yes, I'm messing with my aspect ratio. You can lock those together if you really want, but for my lower res image of George Costanza, who really cares? Uh, I think that looks good. Now if I hit escape, it's going to close down the map and now the content is spanning all of my screens and accounting for the negative space. This map is now available to me. So if I were to create a new layer, video layer notice it's still now parallel map I can use that and now I can add uh, color bars or I can make this be Ada or I can have this be uh, really anything I want and great so that's just how to do a what we call a parallel map so once again this is taking one piece of content one layer spanning across all of our screens with negative space